in the big bill stack. We'll keep you in the know. In the big bill stack. We'll fix your techie woes. Some will break and some will make these. So we're all together raking and we'll raise a cup of grog down in the big bill stack. In the big bill stack. Come and join our pirate crew. In the big bill stack. We will show you what to do. I will hack it till we crack it and we'll tell the world about it and forget to tidy up. That's why it's now a bilge tank. Hello. Hi. How are you doing? Welcome to Bilge Tank 097. We've been sat here for ages. <laughs> <laughs> Waiting for the lovely Sandy to get Facebook to work. Yeah, so sorry we're a little bit late. Um, we're going to talk about... Um, what are we going to talk about? I can't remember. Women! Women's! Women's! Yay! Um, so today is International Women in Engineering Day. Um, we're celebrating it by doing a couple of things. Um, mainly by just sharing the joy and love of all the brilliant women that are in our community. So, yeah, women are awesome! Yeah, yeah women are awesome! We and already actually, know this, but... I'm um, uh, talking a little, little bit serious about the um, the fact that there's only nine percent of the engineering workforce that is female or represents female. Um, I'm slightly trying to combat that by talking about our heroes. So we're going on the um, oh, what's it called? What's she called? Mm. Gina Davis Foundation's um, thing. If she can see it, she can be it. So we're going to talk about all the women that we know and love, um, and it'd be good if you could join in on the chat. That'd be amazing. Oh, it's a sound low. <sighs> Never cared. If I talk right really loud, really that loud. Better? There's probably all these picture frames that are going <sighs> So that, that yeah. may have well, something to do with it. Well, we could remove them. We could do like a strict team. <laughs> um, so June 23rd is the day in 1919 when the Women's Engineering Society was formed. We ain't messing about. Women have been in engineering for a long time. Um, often what happens in storytelling is women don't get to do the storytelling because we're busy. Um, so people tend to represent men a lot more. So we're going to change that a little bit today. I'm going to start by talking about um, the boss women of all the brands that we sell in the shop, which are all these beauties. Lovely ladies, and we'll slowly remove them. And then maybe you can hear us. Yeah. I think um, so we're going to start with Adafruit. Adafruit's awesome, and the lovely Lamour is there. Um, known as Lady Ada, um, she's the founder and CEO of Adafruit. Adafruit is an amazing business which um, we kind of bow down and worship on a daily basis. They're amazing, um, and we have got up here in our box of joy, the circuit playground, if my lovely assistant can get it out. So, um, okay, look, I've got, got names written on the back so I can remember. Circuit playground was, um, well is, a, a really good board for getting stuck in without need for much soldering. Oh, can we do the close-up? Can we do the Yeah, thing? sure, yeah. Um, I'll try, I'll try and get the right one. Let's okay. See. So, no. therefore, it's... Not that one. Oh, no, nearly. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. I really need to mark on the table where is under this thing. <laughs> we had a little pilot <laughs> sticker. It might be under that tree. Oh, no. No, no someone's taken off. No. They're no. still complaining about anyway, the volume. Maybe we should shout really turn, loudly. Turn your volume up. Yeah. <laughs> it's so good play Get bigger speakers. I unfortunately have not had the joy of playing with this. We were saying earlier, I don't mm. get much chance to play with anything at the moment. <laughs> I'm having really to do good. too much yeah, marketing. Yeah, I've, I've had to play with it. It's really good fun. They've got the, they've got the thing that's like the micro bit that is the kind of like browser based. Um, ID. Kind of like block programming okay. thing, and um, very similar to the micro bit. So you can yeah. kind of you, you see a little graphic of the circuit playground, and you can drag all the blocks into so different nice things. So it's nice visual programming. And they'd see the feedback yeah. and kind of like test things. And yeah. Okay, cool. That's great. It's one of those on the list where I really, <coughs> really want to have a play, um, but it's amazing what um, Adafruit have done. Oh no! We don't even mm. have any fans on, by the way. We don't so I don't know what the hissing on. is. Let's have a look. If we move Bethany, 
It's probably just this, the way it's set up, to be honest. Um, yeah. Move everybody. I think, we should, move just, everybody. I think we should just carry on. Yeah, yeah. we should just carry yeah. on. So, um, you were talking about yeah. the circuit program. Circuit yeah, programming. Awesome. Yeah. Um, it's got a bunch of, uh, it's got like an insane amount of different things on it for such a little board. And I was kind of like, when I first saw it, I was, I was kind of reading the product description on our website and I was like, really? It's, it's got like an accelerometer and a light sensor and a microphone Ooh. and a little speaker and buttons and LEDs. And, and I was like, really? Yeah, it's got clicky buttons. It's kind yeah. of like all of our flotilla stuff on a single tiny on little single board. board. Yeah. <laughs> it's one of those where I really need to have a go, really need to have a play. Yeah, yeah, too great. much hiss again. It's great fun. Mm, we're really sorry about the sound. Not one hundred percent sure what to do unless Paul wants to magically appear. It's the ocean yeah. wave. It's the ocean wave. So it's, it's the ocean. Yeah. Sure. So we're going to plough through. So yeah. next on the list is uh, Chibitronics. So I have to apologise about pronunciation of names. Um, this is G. 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 Um, she's co-founder of Chibitronics. Developed the idea for. Um, circuit stickers while she was studying at M MIT. I believe she's still a um, part-time research um, engineer at MIT. We've got a working demo actually. Mm -hmm. Geotronics yeah. stickers okay. um, do really really well in the shop. People love them um, and we've got a working demo. Yeah, I found um, out you can stick them to yourself when we're at the Maker Fair. I yeah. made myself a little. I I'm not sure that's the recommended use. <laughs> <laughs> I think they're gorgeous. Um, really simple, quick, easy way of getting stuck in with how circuits work. So this is an example we made a while ago. Mm -hmm. um, and really, really, really simple using copper tape um, to join the circuit together with the lovely circuit stickers. Um, it's just a really simple, lovely, crafty, um, accessible way of bringing people into electronics and, and learning about basic engineering. That red one's not working. Damn. Yes it is. Is it bent? And that's just, I may have unstuck it a little. But they've up. also released a new board so you can do a little bit more advanced coding. They have um, sensors as well as just lights, as well as the lights they have sensors and all sorts of exciting and things. They have effects stickers as well so you can make yeah. them like pulse like a heartbeat or flash or twinkle. Yeah, or yeah. you can use um, the non-static, what's that called? The um, Copper tape? The, not the copper no. tape, the, there's an anti-static <laughs> thing that comes in the kit. Oh, okay. So that you can create a pressure sensor. Yeah. So, yeah, this. Okay. What's that called? That'd be English. Plastic. Some kind of plastic? Yeah. <laughs> so it's in, can, insulating plastic. You I can guess. create different resistance. It's brilliant. Um, <laughs> Oh, yes. I am. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> a few, nice. be oh, like. a few weeks like. back, I spent um, like about an hour on Pinterest looking at um, looking at greetings cards that people had made. Maybe with, those, uh, yeah. Should be trying to stickers, but with like really beautiful um, illustrations as well. Yeah. With uh, I think Copic markers, I think that's oh, the nice. name of them. All kind of blended in, and there was one with like a uh, a little kid as like an astronaut with a space rocket with like blinking lights and oh, stars. Awesome. And blinking lights. I, yeah. I do tend yeah, to hack tape. greeting cards when I send them to people. Um, so, swiftly moving on, right, we're going to remove women as we go so we can improve <laughs> Remove that. women. That's, that's women. not the point of today. I've got folders <laughs> of women. Um, next is Sugu Jane. She's green there. She's green. She's, it's in the green. She's it's in the green. green. Frame, but she's not. Um, Jane is Irish and has the most epic surname, and I can't say it. Do you want to just search the Do we have it? Or the, we don't have it. No. Oh, do we wanna, do actually. Do you want to yeah, give yeah, it a go? Token Kelt. So this is Jane's surname. Um, Written as phonically as I could get it, but I still can't. <laughs> Written in MS Beautiful. The thing about Gaelic and the thing that I know from my limited knowledge of Gaelic is that however it's written, bears absolutely no resemblance to the way it's actually pronounced. Yeah. 
regardless um, of this. So I'm not even going to attempt to. <laughs> <laughs> Jane is an amazing What's product. What's the Jane Sucre? <laughs> product Sucre. designer um, and engineer. So she came up with um, an idea for Sugru while she was doing an MA in product design. She wanted to um, solve the problem of reusing things. Um, but making the better, so something that was playful and creative and also useful for remaking things. Um, and there's a really lovely story on the Sugru website where she talks through the development of the idea and how they ended up with the business that they have now, which is, I think, one of, I think one of the biggest success stories from the British maker movement. It's really nice to see how, um, how they've changed and developed that business over the last, God, it must be seven years, eight yeah. years. I remember seeing them at uh, Newcastle Maker Fair eight years ago, um, and it was really, really new then, and being blown away by them. Um, and to see what they've achieved now is amazing. Super, super woman, yes! There so was, It was one of those things that just kind of like exploded. Like, I remember I remember hearing about it, and like, it's one of those things, you, when you hear about it, you think, you go, yeah, that's one of those like really simple ideas that's just like works so well and it's just like yeah it's it makes a lot of sense so um if you don't know what sugar is i realize i didn't explain it um it's an air drying polymer rubber, clay, clay. Mm, silicon there's silicon. Silicon. multiple glue on the packet yeah so you can use it to um make all sorts of stuff make I things have, fix stuff i have it on the bottom of my make monitor at work true. and i created a series of hooks so I can hang stuff off um, and you can I've seen all sorts of really cool um, uses for it. You can yeah. make, like, make headphones out of it so like take a pair of headphones then yeah. mold it and then stick it in your ear. Yeah. And I, I don't, don't know if that's, leave it in your ear to dry don't know if that's recommended that. but no. you never um, put anything in your ears Sandy. We've got <laughs> downstairs we've got don't lose your pens and the pens have some sugru on with some magnets stuck in them so we oh, can yeah, stick yeah. them to the There's magnetic the sugru as well which is Awesome. Uh, yeah, I think it's just super weird with magnets. magnets. But yeah, oh, is it? Yeah, stick it's the, the magnet. See, so I've not looked it. in the tin. Um, you can make pencil grips as well. So cool. you know those pencil grip things you get. You can make yeah. them like just by I like the um, using it on knives and things that you use often and making it fit, mm. um, fit to your hand. So Sugru is the bomb. We love it. Um, next is lily pad. Um, Lily Pad, we haven't got a photo for Leah, um, so Leah Buckley, I believe, what are you doing? What someone are you someone mentioned in the chat. So. Oh yeah, we've got Raspberry Pride stickers at the moment. Yeah. Um, they're free on the store, you have to pay for postage and packing, which I believe is a pound. A pound in the UK, if you're outside the yeah. UK then it's kind of standard shipping for a, for a small envelope package. Um, but if you order something on the store, I believe we're putting them in all orders, so mm -hmm. there's a good way of getting some pride in your life. A lovely pride weekend celebration from the community I'm quite proud of. Um, so yeah, Lilypad was one of the first things that I saw about the, the maker community. It's an Arduino based um, uh, sewable board and this has the needle on thread is um, a relatively new addition to the collection so it's a pop-out proto board so instead of having to set up your circuits on a breadboard you can set them up on the actual boards make sure everything works and then when you're happy with it pop it out and sew it in which we think is rather genius I quite like it a lot also really 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 beautiful um, absolutely gorgeous. The whole branding of the lily pad stuff's lovely. I love really the, beautiful. I don't think we have any in stock but they have a big, um, the big kit. a big kit that's in a, a lovely purple box and you just open it up and all the, the all the PCBs look really nice and there's the lovely logo. Yeah, and yeah the lily pads. Very, very pretty. Um, very nicely made. So yeah, a lot of respect for that. And then next we have Bethany, I think we moved Bethany when we did the first. So Bethany Kobe. I've seen Betty Hobie speak a couple of times. Um, oh, Did you find it? Did I hide You're it? You're upside down. No. Oh yeah. <laughs> there we go. Um, Skills. Bethany is co-founder alongside. Oh, I've forgotten his name. Some 
man. Um, <laughs> no, that's terrible because we're allies of men. That's a very important thing. Um, Bethany and oh, what's he called? That's terrible. I'll find out. You'll find out. <laughs> um, set up tech or savers with the aim of getting. Um, Someone will see in the chat. Well. A million okay. kids mange thing. So they make gorgeous kits that are very simple, um, very approachable, beautifully packaged, beautifully presented. Um, I think it's one of the things I've heard Bethany say is that um, making something that somebody wants to pick up and play with is a really good way of getting um, especially children to engage. Um, so we're big fans of them. Oh, look at your finger now. Don't look at my finger. <laughs> they were it's, nice uh, last night and then I did lasers. So I'm so sorry. It, lasers always happens. So the other tech will save us co founder is Daniel Hirschman. Oh, yeah, Daniel. So that's Bethany's partner. Um, and yeah, they're both really lovely and work really hard for the community. They were involved in the micro bit project a little bit in the beginning. Um, and this is the movie kit, which was their previous Kickstarter. Yep. They've um, got a current one, haven't they? That's the that ele awesome. Electro Dome. Electro -do. um, um, we so have one of those kits, but I think this is like a bigger kind of all in one thing, similar it, to Flotilla. With, it's taken it yeah, forward, so yeah. it's got additional um, blocks to go with. So instead yeah. of just making the current go through the yeah. dough, they've got switches and <coughs> sensors and things. It looks awesome. Um, so yeah, they're, they're really, really super duper cool. Next is. Oh, look, look at this. It's almost like. We prepared it. Um, next is the brilliant Bear Conductive, and that team is, if you can pull them up as well, on there, is. That's the Kickstarter for the. Um, oh, for Tech Savers Universe. Yeah. Yeah. Looks great. I love the again. Packaging. Their branding is just. Yeah, it's spot on. They've nailed it. It's really, um, really lovely. So. Bear Conductive. Bear yeah, conductive. again. The, was yeah. set up by Becky, <coughs> Isabel. When you hold them up, they go white. Oh, so shame. Should you get the reflections? You have to there we go. Yeah, um, so. Baby. Oh. Um, as well as a fourth co founder. About. <laughs> um, Bear Conductive is. Matt Johnson. Matt Johnson. Um, Bear Conductive is gorgeous. It's um, simple and really, really clever. Um, conductive paint. So mm. you can use it to be creative and draw circuits. And draw circuits, you can repair your PCBs. Um, you can almost thing, solder with it. <laughs> my, but the first thing my dad said was, oh, you could uh, repair your um, rear windscreen, windscreen heater. But that's how old my dad is. <coughs> okay. Um, they're super, and we're really, really glad to be part of a community that they're involved in. They do awesome work, and it's and it's nice to see um, them going from strength to strength. We also have their um, paper craft kits, um, and one of the things that I bought from us before I was here was <coughs> the, um, the house. So it's a paper craft house, and it has a light sensor on it, and then. If it goes dark, the LEDs light up, um, and it's gorgeous. And that's still in pride of place on my living room um, mantelpiece. mantelpiece. Yeah, me and the kids made it, and it's brilliant. So good. Next up, we have uh, Lenore Edmund of Evil Mad Scientist. So I didn't know a huge amount about Lenore until we started doing research for this. Um, Lenore and her yeah. partner. Um, set up Evil My Scientist a while ago to do maker projects. They're quite embedded part of the maker community in San Francisco, by all accounts. Um, making lots of awesome, <laughs> mad projects. Um, and out of that, they've made a couple of products. This one being our absolute favourite. It's a working, um, massive version of a 555 timer. <laughs> Um, which is, it's just mm. gorgeous. It's absolutely beautiful. Hands for scale. Um, what an awesome uh, profile picture <laughs> that is. Oh, is that, that's her, her partner. So, so this um, is Wendell Oski. Yeah. That's a good name. Can I just say, without, 
damaging the package. It sounds like a mad scientist, no. Wendell Oski. It's, 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 it's a great name. She yeah. sent me a number of photographs to use, and this one I like the best because she's throwing a, um, a physics gang sign. You've always <laughs> got to be throwing a physics gang sign. Yes. Um, I think, are we there? Is this that all is, the women's uh, this gone? Is, this yeah, is the other I shall cease trying to get the box open. The other so co-finder whose name is uh, <laughs> Zener Diodes, the cat. <laughs> yes. Yay, we need more cats in our lives. Oh, there's other cats. There's other cats. Um, more cats. There's also, I'm going to mention Alicia Gibb, um, who's the CEO of um, Lunchbox Electronics. We we're going to include her in the promotion, but um, we sold out, unfortunately. <laughs> so she developed a number of projects that <clears throat> But mainly um, build on balls, which were um, build ponds. Build ponds. LEDs following a Lego format. Um, she's a, a, um, an advocate for open hardware um, and has made loads of really cool projects. Really, really awesome maker and electronics engineer. Hmm. Yay! So that's all. Oh, the women. Oh, <laughs> wow. There's also. It's like strip tease. You can see, you can see the bad stickers on my laptop. One of them is sweary, isn't it? It's not sweary, it's kind of tongue in cheek sweary. Okay, I might well, do that a bit. Um, Adventures in Random Pie is still one of our absolute favourite books, and it's by the wonderful um, Carrie Ann Philbin, who works for the Pie Foundation, doing amazing work spreading education and joy about um, computer electronics um, and this book comes with a nice kit if you wanted to get it it's really nice. yeah. um, and then also we just love Rosie Revere look I'll leave Rosie Revere there yeah so you can't see this very <coughs> laptop <stick. laughs> okay um, actually wait 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 you can put pride over it which, which one was it Emma? Um, it's these that are the issue do you need two stickers? Yeah. I don't see any sweetiness. It's subtle. Let's go. <laughs> when, it's, it's one of those when you see it ones. You'll see there it. we there go. go. Okay. Much better. It's fine now. Hi! Anyways, <laughs> yeah, this book's great. There's, uh, there's two others that we sell as there's well. There's two others. There's, yeah. um, the names of which I cannot remember. Architect. Architect. Yeah. And, uh, and the other one. The other one. Um, Something that rhymes, some kind of alliteration. Yeah, I'm gonna yeah. have a look. I can't remember, but it's gorgeous. <coughs> Somebody books. will tell us. Before and I think you they're find the only out. books we sell that are not factual. Can I can I put one under the magic camera? Of yes, course, go yeah. for it. Yeah. If you switch it up. So this comes back to um, a very great belief of ours, which is uh, representation is really important. Um, and if you see it, you can be it. So, talking to children and the audience in general about women doing things other than being just a few things. homemakers or nurses, etc. Not that there's anything wrong with those things, just that there are lots of choices. It's, um, yeah, it's really tough because uh, so I've got I've got a little girl that's uh, three, and um, we're trying so hard to get into her heads the the kind of notion that um, you know toys and things like that are f for boys or girls um, mm. but it's yeah it's really hard you really have to kind of fight against it yeah um, it's it's know. very hard actually um uh, children's media conference this year i'm executing <laughs> a panel that's called um engineering change so we're going to be talking about um there's a new cbb's cartoon coming up um in the 2018 year which is about an inventor and is led by a girl character um, and also there's been a lot of work done by a number of other broadcasting agencies um, it's it's one of those things where one or two cartoons are really good but you can't fight a world that's full of pink toys and blue toys and you can't fight a world where um, you have firefighters referred to as firemen in the mainstream media yeah. mm -hmm. so it's it's one of those mm. things we've got to keep doing it we've got to keep on top of um what we're what how we talk to children how we talk to each other um and trying to keep being positive and I, think my, yeah. about it. I think my thing is just encouraging her you know to do things that she likes and 
you know, um, to do things that are fun, yeah. um, kind of irrespective of, of you know yeah. of anything really. Yeah, I think um, we're in a um, a place where gender is becoming <coughs> societally accepted as something which is fluid and it isn't necessarily tied to job roles, looks, dress, um, and lots of other things. So. Hopefully, it's getting better. It just it takes a lot of work. Yep. So, Ada Twist, scientist. Ada Twist, well done. Well, so, actually, no. Alex. I, Alex oh, well done, Alex. On the chat, so thank you. Thank you, Alex. Um, Alex. <laughs> <laughs> we. I gave these guys the challenge of mm. coming up with um, their favourite female engineer, um, and telling me about them. Yeah, but the problem is keeping it down to like. Because there's, there's an awful lot, and I think there's so many good role models out there that I keep discovering them and thinking, this is great, but there's so, so many, so it's really hard to choose one. So Who did you pick? Um, Tilly Schilling I picked, which is a great name. Tilly Tell Schilling. She's about... Beatrice Schilling, but Tilly. Oh, that's too. cool. Tilly Schilling. I like it. Um, yeah, uh, she was uh, started getting beaten by her sisters on their bikes, outraced by her sisters, so she thought the only way to beat them was to get a, a motorised one, so she got a motorbike, stripped it down, rebuilt it, made it go really, really fast, and eventually went 106 miles an hour on it. Awesome. Aged 14, I think. Not awesome. Uh, <laughs> no, there That's she is. Kind of awesome. But she carried on racing, and she carried on doing more and more about engines, and um, eventually she started, when she left school, she was an apprentice electrician and her employer, which is quite rare, in the, I think it was in the 30s, um, her employer was a female employer and said, I'm encouraging this, why don't we get you to university? And she went and studied electronic engineering and then ended up working for the RAF and there was a problem with the German fighter planes could dive because they had fuel injection. And when they, when they dive down, there's like a negative G, which makes everything sort of flood back. And in the Spitfire engines, there was nothing <coughs> to stop it flooding back. So she just invented this really simple thing, which is just like a little washer, which narrowed the opening. So the fuel didn't flood back and the Spitfires could dive after the German planes in the war. That's awesome. Is, is that why planes stall when they... When it's of, part of the reason yeah. planes stall, yeah. So it depends on the, the carburetor, basically. But um, right. I'm not going to go into engine engineering right now but um, I just thought it was quite cool because um, she started off just taking things apart and another of my favourites Grace Hopper started taking things apart and I started taking <coughs> things apart so how do they work? Me too. What makes it, what makes <laughs> it better? How do they work? What makes it, yeah it's like when you're a bored teenager and your dad brings home a Ford Sierra and says, take that apart, find out how it works and you're like, oh okay so yeah. Easy. I think for me it was like what's inside a thing it was more like curiosity with me yeah. like what's inside this radio what or something makes it like work that. why yeah, does yeah. it work uh, but luckily my parents have encouraged me by bringing me things to take apart and i still do it now and i think that's why i, I became a biologist as well to kind of find squishy, out, squishy find taking out how, apart. how we work yeah um, it's the same thing really isn't it i think yeah. so. it's all engineering don't do squishy yeah motors no. much no. better motors Wait, who was your person um, so my person is, I might have to use a bit of creative license to say that she was an engineer, but um, she was defi definitely definitely really? a scientist, um, okay. maybe a chemical engineer. Um, Rosalind Franklin, um, who was oh, one yeah. of the one of the co-discoverers of the structure of DNA. Um, so when most people think about uh, the structure of DNA and um, about how that was. Uh, discovered and the people that discovered it they think of Watson and Crick um, and also um, Morris Wilkins as well who so, so they jointly won the um, the Nobel Prize in 1962 for the structure of DNA mm -hmm. um, but um, so the kind of story of it was that Watson and Crick were in Cambridge um, and they were working more on the kind of molecular side of it um, on the kind of biochemical side of DNA um, but they had a collaboration with a group at King's College London um, who was 
um, part of which was Morris Wilkins and Rosalind Franklin. Um, so Rosalind Franklin had been working on um, the kind of molecular structure of coal um, and the kind of microstructure of it and trying to work out um, which types of coal, if there was a way she could work out which types of coal burnt better than other types, uh, which, which were better for fuel. Mm. Um, so she was looking at the, the kind of microstructure of coal um, and then she was kind of encouraged to move on to the project that was looking at the structure of DNA um, and she was a, um, she worked in an area called X-ray crystallography wow. um, which is basically using X-rays to work out the structure of molecules um, and what That's happens so is cool. what happens is you fire a very narrow beam of X-rays at a molecule and the electrons that are in the molecule deflect the x-rays um, and if you take a photograph of um, the way that the x-rays are deflected then you can work out the density of electrons in different areas in space mm -hmm. and based upon that you can work out where atoms might be and what types of atoms they are um, so this is what she worked on um, and she, I'm going to get the Wikipedia page up actually. Yeah, it's basically the principle um, is like getting spray paint, putting your hand in front of it, spraying. Exactly, yeah. And then taking the hand away and looking at what's left what's and going, it? that's the shape of a hand. Yeah, kind of. But, okay, um, with x -ray. So, she, um, yeah, she's very famous for this thing called Photo 51, which was um, the first photograph of the x-ray diffraction pattern of DNA. Um, and so the kind of controversy about Rosalind Franklin is that <coughs> she took this photograph um, in about 1951, I think, um, when she was working at King's College. And she then left King's College and went to Birkbeck College. Um, when she left, Morris Wilkins um, sent her data to Watson and Crick in Cambridge. Um, probably without her permission um, and they used her data to build their structure of DNA which they published in 1953 um, in Nature and she wasn't an author on the paper, didn't get acknowledged on the paper um, despite the fact they used her data to, to build the structure. Um, Morris Wilkins that she worked with was one of the Nobel Prize winners for it. Yeah. Um, but it was only like, because the Nobel Prize was in 1962, she actually tragically died when she was 37 or 38, I think, mm. uh, from ovarian cancer. So that was like four years before they got the Nobel Prize. Um, and it was only really, it was only kind of in the years after they got the Nobel Prize that this all kind of came out yeah. and that she started to get credit for it. Um, nowadays, I think she's seen as... As like a you know, de facto one of the the kind of great British scientists of all time, yeah. really. Yeah. Um, yeah. But it's kind of it's one of those stories where you know it it's kind of typifies the kind of the ba battles that battles. women have to fight. And apparently, she got a lot of flack from um, Morris Wilkins and especially James Watson. Um, recently, there's been a lot of kind of controversy about James Watson for other reasons that mm. I don't really want to speak about because it's really, really about horrible. women today it's about women today well it's not just women he's, he's he kind of had some quite controversial kind of like racist um, yes. views and things exactly. like that as well just some people probably not a very nice man to be honest no, but um no. No. and apparently he was really nasty to Rosalind Franklin as well um, yeah. so Rubbish. Yeah, but no. she's ace. She's my hero. She's the ace. Yeah. <laughs> um, I was struggling to pick one. Um, I was gonna go. I kind of got a list. I got a list. You should see. She got a huge list. Um, I think Zahir. Um, oh, Hadid. Her her work. But it's like, is architecture and engineering? Is it is it enough? <laughs> Building it engineering. Enough? Building engineering. Zahir Hadid is just a stunning stunning representation but I think I plumped on um, Delia Derbyshire um, so I've got a great love for um, 
very abstract electronica. <laughs> <laughs> so Dina Dalvish is a massive hero. Um, she was surprisingly um, turned down for a job at Decca Records because they didn't employ women uh, in the records um, in the recording studios at those time, th that time, and she managed to get a job at the BBC. Um, and they didn't really know what to do with her. Um, and she ended up in the what we became known as the Radiophonic Workshop. Um, and from what I understand, she was basically left to her own devices because they had no idea. They didn't understand her. They didn't know what she was doing. But she spent um, spent a long time playing with reel-to-reel -reel, um, machines and trying to um, find new ways of making sound, new forms and new ways of making sound. And she, she's one of those people that um, she's a hero because she didn't know she was a hero. She just got on with it. She was doing what she loved, um, and the 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 iconic piece of work, the Doctor Who soundtrack, is such um, is such a solid part of my childhood and my life at the moment. Um, having children and watching Doctor Who, um, that. I can't take those all of those things apart and her her kind of like mastery of mathematics and understanding of the art of making sound and those two things being blended just make me really happy. She probably really likes Sonic Pie. She probably would <laughs> really like Sonic Pie. I've had a play with Sonic Pie and it's aces. It is. I like the tutorial. She yeah. loves Skywriter. She loves yeah, Skywriter. Yeah, yeah I've, I've been trying to get a theremin going, but I, I'm not doing a very good job at the moment. Um, so, have we come to the end? We've been going on quite a while we today. Have. Yeah. Um, we have. We've had a really busy, busy week in the shop. We managed to have our 200,000th order, so I um, kind of want to say thank you for that. Yay! Um, and big thank you to all the team. They've done a ridiculously brilliant amount of work in the last... Well, this last year they've been so good. Because it's, it's like it's only just a year since we had our hundred thousandth order. Yeah, mm. yeah. Um, and the team has grown. Which obviously took like four years, pretty much. Yeah, and is working under quite stressful um, uh, conditions. In that it's really hot, <laughs> and we're British, and we don't work in the hot. <laughs> um, but yeah, we're having a blast, and thank you very much for supporting us with that. Um, do you want to talk about what you've been making this week, or do you want uh, to leave it? I don't for... know. People have got things to do. People have got things to do. <laughs> you got stuff to do. I've got stuff to do. You got yeah. stuff to do. There's, there's um, we will talk about, about that next week. Talk about We've next got week, exciting yeah. things to talk about next week. Um, that may or may not be new products. That may or may yeah. not be new products. We said that last week, didn't we? Yeah. yeah. But I kind of I hijacked it with International Women's Day. But there we go. Um, Thank you for watching. Thank you for joining in. I'm sorry the sound is terrible. I'm not sure what we're going to do about that. Um, we should make something. <laughs> yeah, if only we had like things that we could fix it with. Yeah, yeah. Maybe mm. we'll sort that out. Maybe we'll just stick some sucre on it and that will fix it. I don't know. <laughs> Got some cardboard. You can fix anything with sucre, right? Yeah. And and you said you can make headphones. You can make and a duct tape. Phone. We'll put some duct tape and sucre and on it. And cardboard. Them. And cardboard. What we should do is do that live and then for the audience feedback. And hit it with a hammer as well. Oh, that goodness, was, no. uh, yeah. oh the hammer. Did you see the hammer fish made my week? Okay, <laughs> right. Thank you very much. Goodbye. Don't forget to like. There's some. I only know yeah. the last one. Comment and, and subscribe. Oh, yay! I'll see everyone I know. Okay. Um, and we'll see you next week. Yeah. And spend your evening reading about awesome female engineers and scientists. Yes. And tell um, one more person. Or else we'll be yeah. very sad with you. Just just tell one more person about somebody awesome. Yes. Okay. Bye. Bye.